How we doing guys? Welcome to another edition of the Browns. Uh, it's time to pour another pint of knowledge as we bring you the freshest and tastiest in all their brews. Uh, we're swinging out to the west coast today, uh, mostly because it's, it's already hot as all get out over here. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful, uh, but I just couldn't do anything thick today. You know, uh, St. Patrick's Day was a couple of days ago and uh, there was just, there was no way I could do a big 10% beer. Alright, so what do we got here? We're heading out to the west coast. We're going to hit up Anchor and their small beer. Um, so this is fantastic because the it seems almost like the entire point, aside from having a delicious beer, uh, of this beer, is to like help educate. Mm, that's nice. Um, so the idea of the education. Um, once upon a time, uh, you know, in the past few thousand years, uh, brewers were as equally ingenious as they are today. Um, they had to be smart about different things, though. Uh, for instance, um, doing two beers from one mash was not unheard of. Um, so it used to be when they did a barley wine or a, a like a high, what we consider a high grab beer today, a really big beer. Um, once they ran off the first bit. They would add a little bit of fresh warm water to the to the first run that wort, and uh, produce a second lighter beer. So your barley wine would be your big robust sipper, lots of hops, lots of malts, high alcohol. Definitely don't want to plow through too many of them. And then you've got your smaller beer, which is going to be lighter, a little sweeter, uh, and should be very very drinkable. For instance, the only hops in this beer are Golding's hops. Uh, now I don't know whether they're East Kent or whether they're British Columbia or what's the third one, white bread. Um, but I can tell you that the hops in here are Golden's hops. And uh, additionally, uh, this was originally brewed in 98, I believe. Um, comes in at 3.3% alcohol by volume. And uh, you can see we've got fantastic effervescence here. I mean, borderline champagne-esque. Uh, still a good amount of color to it. Uh, letting you know that this came from a pretty stiff malt backbone. It's kind of kind of more on the orange, golden hued side. Uh, the head was nice and frothy, very light. It's breaking down to a wisping. And I I love the nose because the the nose is so subtle and so subdued. And once it starts getting as hot as it does down here, I mean, you need to be be able to have a few without making a mess of yourself, you know. Um, but the nose is. There's, it's almost like a hay -y, a hay esque characteristic. Uh, you do get malt sweetness. And the hops are, are light. They're almost on the grassy side. Typically, Golding's hops are going to be used for uh, pale ales, American pale ales, uh, extra special bitters, uh, which personally I don't think you see enough of here in the States. But, um,. So yeah, so more subdued hop. Not going to be a big hoppy badass like, say, I don't know, Zeus, um, um, Simcoe, mm, Cascade. These are like, these are big, robust hops. Golding's is going to provide you with much more approachable flavor. Um, so again, your, your appeal to those, to those of us who, who are beer-centric but hang out with, you know, noobs, um, this will have good mass appeal for it as well. Wow, surprisingly still a bit dry on the finish. Um, but nice malt build, super approachable. Uh, the carbonation definitely has a play light on the mouthfeel. Uh, and, and a dry but pronounced hop finish. Bready. Mm. Actually, now it's almost reminiscent of, um, of their Liberty Ale. Which I found to have kind of a briskety, uh, biscuity, bready kind of malt to it. Um, but really, a great palate cleanser. Um, on their best day, this is what the jackasses at the Big Two would like to be. Now, problem is, they won't spend the money to produce quality products. They wouldn't probably know how to produce quality products at as large a scale as they're used to producing their 
regular offerings. Um, but there is one substantial difference. I mean, you'll find no adjuncts in this beer because it wasn't designed to have adjuncts. Just throwing that out there. Um, but give it a shot, man. When you're not, you know, when you're not looking to take on a a behemoth of a beer, you know, and you just want something clean and easy, you can take a few of these, and they should appeal to just about everybody. So that's it here on the rounds, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us while we poured this one. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.